Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a love reading for Capricorn from the 4th to the 17th of March 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, I put my details in the description box, so please go to my website to book a reading. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to, watch, to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with the general energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. So you're trying to manifest love. So you've been focusing quite a bit on manifesting love at the moment. You're spending a lot of time doing a lot of deep thinking. And maybe you've come through a divorce and this is why you've been spending a lot of time by yourself and doing, uh, you know, being very introspective about it. You are feeling very lonely and feeling very isolated from everybody at the moment. So in the past, you've got longing for something better. So you are looking for something uh, to come in. You are looking for companionship. Uh, and... Uh, you know, there might be some kind of sacrifice that you have made. Maybe you've compromised a little bit in order to find this happiness that you're looking for. So, you know, going into the future, you're still uh, dealing with that divorce situation that you went through. And um, you need to give yourself a treat. So you need to be kind to yourself. And, uh, you know, um, like it says, give yourself a treat. Go out there, have some fun, uh, you know, uh, get a massage. Uh, buy yourself something really nice. So look after yourself. If you're good to yourself, uh, you know, um, you feel better and then the whole world, your mood improves and the whole world wants to be your friend. So that's very important. So these are the energies for that week. So this is the um, Tarot of the Elves. So the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. Now, usually the Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety. In this deck, it's about letting go of the past, burying it, and moving on. And you've, she's got the sort of truth strapped to her back over here. So taking a stand for what you believe in and showing people your power. So getting that power back in your hand again, but also managing to let go of that past and walking away from it. You know, uh, not giving it any more airtime, really, with this Nine of Swords. And this could be, you know, there could have been a legal... Um, um, severing of that particular relationship the source is always about legality so the, this could have well been the divorce and this is the aftermath of it so uh, you know coming to terms with that um, you know and dealing with all the emotions that went on uh, after that divorce or after that separation So what's happening around you? You've got the Five of Cups over here. Now, this is about arguing and fighting. So you might have be having, uh, there might be somebody around you that you're having problems with, uh, disagreements with. Uh, and it might, uh, you know, be due to the that previous relationship because these people are fighting over this cup uh, between them. So, uh, you know, maybe somebody was not happy uh, that you have separated from your uh, significant other and this has stirred up a lot of problems. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, emotional drama going on around you. Maybe things are being said. Maybe uh, some truths are coming to light as well. Um, secrets being revealed as well with this Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is also about disappointment and regret. So you could be going through that particular phase. In this particular particular deck, it's about discord, unhappiness, and really bickering. So, um, you know, and it's all uh, um, based on emotions. So maybe uh, whatever happened caused, you know, if it could, it caused a lot of, um, maybe there are other people uh, that have their opinions, they want to express their opinions about that relationship breaking up. But there's definitely a fight over that relationship, or people are arguing over that relationship that has now ended. Um, and, you know, you're having to defend yourself as well. Now, something new is coming in. So maybe what's happening is you're being offered something new as a new relationship and somebody's not really happy that you want to move on and they're arguing about it. They Maybe they don't agree with this new relationship that has come in uh, because you've got these two people fighting over this cup and this cup is being offered to you by this person here. 
So maybe a new relationship coming in, but somebody is not agreeing to it. Or people around you are not happy that you have moved on or you're starting off. Maybe they don't particularly like the new person that you want to uh, have a relationship with. Now, this new relationship that is coming on you, you are very connected to this person. You feel very uh, empathetic towards them or you feel very, um, you know, as though they're on the same page. It's a very soulmate connection, um, you know. And if it's something that's good for you, then you really shouldn't be bothered about what other people say. Because at the end of the day, of the day, it's your happiness that is important, not what they've got to say. So if you are connecting with this person, you know, I would say go for it, uh, regardless of what anybody has to say. Because it's not them that's going to be involved in the, in the relationship. It's your relationship. So be aware of that. So what's happened in the past? You've got the Eight of Swords. You felt really disempowered in that previous relationship. It seems like everybody is against... Uh, was against you, uh, you know, you can see this little child being surrounded by all these people. Uh, they all had their say and, you know, you felt very restricted by them. So whatever situation you were in, it seems like they had uh, control over you. You were disempowered. You didn't feel as though you had any strength to even fight them because this child can't even raise the sword. So you couldn't even speak your truth. Nobody was listening to you and, you know, uh, they didn't allow you to do what you wanted to. So feeling very, uh, you know, um, restricted, very isolated, uh, you know, feeling as though you're being victimized almost in this particular relationship so a lot of people controlling what you did and you don't seem to have much power in that relationship but it seems like in the last few months your power has come back to you you've got the ace of swords now where this sword is lying on the ground over here you can see it's now standing upright so you are now standing up for yourself you're speaking your truth and you know you're taking stand you're taking your power back so becoming empowered again um in, in between you know, feeling like a child, and now you can see this person standing and sitting up, and that sword is standing up as well. So you have been given your power back. So something seems to have happened, or maybe you had a realization, uh, and getting your confidence back, taking uh, taking a stand for things. So what's in your mind? You've got the Eight of Pentacles over here. So you've been working very hard to, um, uh, you know, um, reassert yourself to get your value or your worth back so you've been working on your confidence and working very very hard the ace of uh, pentacles is a card about inspiration about learning so maybe you've had uh you know you maybe you've been doing some research maybe you've been speaking to people and learning about how valuable you are and uh, that you are not supposed to be treated as though you know you have no power you can't be treated as a child so this is about learning your work and working very hard at doing that as well and it seems like you know there's been somebody in the background somebody around giving you advice and and you know egging you on telling you you know you are worth much more than than you thought and this has helped build your confidence so much so that you're now standing up for yourself and speaking your truth and you this is a card of victory so victor being victorious in whatever's Whatever you have to say is now people are standing up and listening. And maybe this is why they feel like, you know, they have, to, because you're standing up for yourself, um, you know, you're not taking it anymore. Uh, if you want this new relationship to work, you are, you do have to stand up for it because you, and you do have to defend it uh, because it will, would add value to that relationship for you. So um, going to the future, you've got the five of pentacles over here. So this is still dealing with the loss of that previous relationship. There is an emptiness uh, that you are feeling over here. You can see there's a big hole here where that coin used to be. So maybe maybe that relationship offered you stability and maybe there was financial support and that is no longer there. And you are feeling a sense of poverty as well, a sense of loss. So you are trying to deal with it. But the five of, of uh, coins is getting over that uh, loss uh, coming to terms with you and also uh, reevaluating the situation and saying that you know you are worth um, everything uh, and you know uh, you're not allowing people to make you feel small but this is about dealing with that so you are dealing with those feelings of loss at this particular moment you've got the chariot card so you are determined you are uh, taking uh, uh, you know um, taking the reins back in your life so you are um, you know uh, taking a stand, you're very determined to get things done. Uh, this could be a card also about moving away from a, a situation. So uh, you're taking control, you're very determined to get things done. And this is a card of achievement. Um, you know, you, you're, um, you're putting a lot of effort and work into making sure that people know that you mean business now. <laughs> you're not taking uh, any uh, nonsense from anybody else. You are taking control of back of your life which is really good. So you've got the Seven of Swords. You are still dealing with people around you that are very sneaky. There's a lot of deception, lies. Uh, so, uh, you know, you might still be dealing with somebody who's got, uh, 
bad intentions. Uh, so while you are focusing on trying to better yourself, this man is meditating. While you're trying to focus on trying to raise your vibration or trying to raise your um, your spirits or trying to get your, your confidence back, this person could still be doing something nasty behind your back. There could be a lot of lies. They might be trying to sabotage you as well. So just be aware that is going on. So um, what you are afraid of is um, you're afraid that, um, you know, uh, if you do anything, if you say your truth, uh, you know, things might go awfully wrong because this child is playing with this hornet's nest. And, you know, um, if he's using the sword on the hornet's nest, it could end up breaking it and everybody could be very angry. Now, you're worried that if you start a new relationship, you're going to make very, everybody very, very angry. And it seems like that is even beginning because there seems to be some kind of fight going on about that new relationship that you have. So not a lot of people agreeing to this new relationship that you have. And you are worried about stirring up that hornet's nest as well. So you are worried about causing uh, chaos by starting this new uh, relationship or even expressing yourself. You are uh, scared of expressing yourself and you're worried that it's going to make everybody angry at you. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Pentacles, uh, the Ten of um, Rods, and you've got the Six of uh, Pentacles as well. So the Four of Pentacles is actually hanging on to things from the past. She's trying to bury this coin. So uh, you are still clinging to things from the past, uh, maybe concepts, ideas, uh, emotions that you had. Uh, you're trying to make plans for the future, but you're still hanging on to things from that previous relationship. So it is time for you to let go of that and move on from it. Uh, you know, let everything, you know, in the past remain in the past. Let it go and move on. So it's time to give up that old coin and move, move on with this Four of Pentacles. It also could be that you're seeking some kind of stability as well uh, for the future. Now, you've got the Ten of Rods over here, and this is definitely walking away from all the drama. So it seems like you're going to make some kind of decision and move away from all the problems that you have been facing. Um, the Ten is the end of a cycle, so that cycle has not come to an end. And this man is walking, you know, uh, very confidently away from whatever is going on behind. So it looks like, you know, your strength and your power comes back and you are going to start a new cycle. There will be people that are there to help you. So somebody, uh, people around you, uh, they are not the ones that are giving you grief, but there are the people around you um, who will uh, provide stability and a good support structure and will be able to give you, uh, direct you, especially in times when you're feeling distressed. There are people that are there to help you. So this is the card of Six of Pentacles, generosity and somebody giving you that help and assistance that you are going to need. And you can see this woman showing the other woman the way. So they are going to give you some kind of direction. So if you need any help as far as getting over the situation, look around you. There are people uh, that are trustworthy and will be able to give you that assistance that you need. So getting over a difficult relationship and having to deal with the loss, uh, just be aware that there are still sneaky people, or somebody still sneaking around trying to sabotage you and tries, trying to cause discord. But you are all in all taking control of your life again and you are determined to move to the future. You see this woman looking to the future and she's got the reins in her hands. So you are moving away from that uh, difficult situation. You have buried it and you are now moving away. You've got that sword of truth. You've got that sword, that power back in your hands again. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. And you've got the Queen of Michael, which says, You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So you will be focusing. With the Queen of Michael, it's like the Queen of um, Swords. So you're very determined, very self-sufficient. And it says you do know exactly what to do. And, uh, you know, you know where you want to focus your energies as well. And you know how to speak your truth. You know how to wield that sword. She's a person with a lot of power in, uh, in her hands. So that power has come back into your hands again. And you are getting, you know, that self-confidence issue sorted out. You've got the Knight of Raphael, which says committed uh, romantic relationships, being swept off, swept off your feet. Situations are topics that make your heart flutter. So this relationship... <coughs> excuse me, this new relationship that comes in is going to be a very soul connection. Uh, you might meet this person, um, you know, uh, this might be your, your knight in shining armor uh, that comes in and sweeps you off your feet because these are uh, both cups cards and they are showing, you know, this person um, has got a lot of a love. It's a very caring person. Uh, they're very emotional and it's somebody that you connect with. So they come in quite quickly into your life. You've got them riding into your life uh, and, uh, you know, almost rescuing you from this particular situation you're going in. Especially if you're having problems with people around you, this person seems to come in and 
actually helps you get over that or deal with these people that you are giving you grief. Then you've got the King of Raphael. Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. Now, this person that comes in over here, uh, they might be older than you, and they're warm, generous, honorable, honorable and refined. Uh, so this is all uh, divinely guided by Archangel Michael and you know this person could be like I said a water sign person so they could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces but they are definitely somebody who is very in contact with their emotions they know exactly they're not over em emotional but they'll be able to give you that emotional support that you need now the King of Raphael um, or the King of Cups also talks about you know getting some kind of uh, emotional support from somebody who's either a father figure or somebody, some kind of professional counselling if you need it uh, to bridge the gap to get you over any feelings of depression so you might uh, you might need some kind of counsel some kind of professional support as well uh, if you're feeling very depressed to get over any kind of difficult situation but all in all this is about a person who's very supportive very emotionally supportive and somebody that you can rely on uh, and like I said they might be older than you they might be in a position of authority uh, so somebody that's you know um been through it, done it, seen it all, and now has got the experience and is able to pass that on to you. So whatever this relationship is, it's coming in very quickly, and it's almost like a rescue mission. They're coming to almost rescue you from from whatever's been going on. So you ha are still dealing with very difficult people around you, stirring up problems, and they may not be very, very thrilled about this new relationship, but it's something that you need, and it is something that you connect with, and it's going to help you move on uh, and end that old cycle of drama that you went through and also don't cling to the past let go of the past uh, and move on so i hope that this, that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye